freeze my heart like dirty pillow Young rock star What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video So we're gonna be doing another punk rap emo rap style vocal effect man I'm always amped on doing these and I know you love them too so if you're into that make sure to smash that like button as well as to subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be using you know a variety of different plugins but you know as always there will be a stock flp available as well i like to emulate them pretty much perfectly but yeah man today's sound is really just centered around like 2004 5 6 uh you know that era you know for example at the end of like american pie or something there'd, there'd always be some sort of blink 182 style song playing and you know i'm happy to see it's still going on within the uh, you know underground of rap music so you know if you're trying to achieve that sound stay tuned we'll be working through some traditional methods to get that sound i've definitely done my research on how um, a lot of punk rock records have been recorded so we'll be using a lot of solid state logic we'll be using some uri universal audio style plugins but you know as you know you can apply these techniques with any sort of uh, compressor some free stuff as well I will try and, you know, um, remind myself to, you know, suggest some alternatives to some of the plugins you may not be able to get. So that being said, man, smash that like button. Let's get straight into the computer. Swag. Alrighty, so let's get straight into the video right now, man. Uh, I've got a song for you that I'll play and then we'll run through all of the cool effects chains that we have. We'll talk about some, you know, I made myself a little plugin, uh, which we'll run through as well, man. Pretty excited, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know I think I should just let go 89 doves flying off in the night Say I'll be fine, but I think I'll be alright Every time you talk, make time move slow Every song about you on the radio It's the summertime, but it's so cold Freeze my heart like dirty pillow Young rock star might pull up in a jack Say she like me, she got tats on her ass Think I'm Lil Tracy, I'm living too fast Pull off in a Hummer, I don't care if I crash Everything changed, man, it's so strange Everything changed, man, it's so strange Everything changed, man, it's so strange If I leave now, I won't come back again Alrighty, so there you go, man. A nice little full song for you there. Uh, I know Cash Tube is, is happy about that. Shout out Cash Tube. Always wants full songs. But yeah, man. So what we have, you know, our main elements. We've got a beat. We've got our main vocal. We've got a double. And then we've got our two background, um, you know, left and right channels, right? So our left background and our right background. And that is all we really need in order to achieve some really nice solid music. So what we'll do is we'll break down the main vocal first because I know that is what you guys are into and guys and girls you know i see there's a lot more females joining in mixing that is good to to see so yeah man um first thing we have is our main vocal right so on my main vocal i have obviously autotune first uh i've, I've done autotune so many times these are the settings i'm using at this point it doesn't even sound like i'm using autotune in a sense because it's just like in my throat you know what i mean uh ness says he's got autotune but i got autotune all right so those are the settings i use on autotune but most importantly we've got our vocal chain going on right here so if i was to turn off everything on the vocal chain and i hope this doesn't freeze my computer but yeah you're no good for me i know i think i should just let go you know what i mean we really want to get that performance as good as possible but once we mix it yeah you're no good for me i know i think i should that sounds good to me man i'm pretty damn happy with that and it's it's this all right look man I, as i said those who check out my instagram i've been making my own little uh, mixture of plugin you know kind of vibe going on and it pretty much is emulating this right here which i decided to double stack on because why not you could use two in a row of this kind of tube console 
um, you can get this separately you know it does take me a couple days to make these kinds of things man so you can check this link in the description but essentially what it's doing is adding a bit of grit all right it's adding a bit of tube warmness to the vocal some harmonic distortion as you can see we've got the tube distortion we've got the input drive um you know i can't really okay let's let's just turn it up and see what happens yeah you're no good for me i know you know what I mean? If we turn it up, things kind of go crazy. So, you know, you can try and find your own ones as well. There are many different styles of free plugins. Uh, Air Windows makes some really good emulations as well of some vintage warming plugins. Essentially, what we're trying to do is, is add some more girth to the vocal. You know what I mean? If I was to turn this up, let me just keep the value. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know. I think I should just let go. You know what I mean? We can go really crazy on the options, but I like to just dial it in slightly. You know, now we've got our EQ as well, which I think I'm doing a little bit of a dip around here. I don't even want to mess around with it. Uh, yeah, you see, so 50% is the default value. We're just dipping away a little bit, you know, and uh, we could add a bit of reverb as well if you we wanted to. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know. I think I should just let go. You know, that's for if your vocal is a bit harsh, but I'm pretty happy with how uh, my vocal sounds. So we'll leave that right there for now. Uh, definitely try out the fruity blood distortion uh, maybe try out some air windows channel 4 if you cannot get this uh little emulation i've made right here but next man we've got the uad fairchild uh, i don't know how i got you know uh not scam but there was a sale on the uad site and i had a cash out so you know this is what we're using right here i do know waves make a puke child as well which is pretty much the same um i just really like this one and i wasn't gonna buy any more waves plugins i think i have enough so i'm running this uad right here and uh for those who don't know uad runs on um a separate card so you have to have a uad card um or a uad interface to use these plugins so unfortunately a lot of people won't be able to use these so a stock version as i said earlier will be available um if you do not have this plugin but all this is doing is just a little bit of volume as well as a tiny bit of compression but mostly i'm just using it for the the added sound that it adds to the vocal you know it doesn't do too much but it does a little bit of something yeah you're no good for me i know i think I yeah, you're no good for me, I know. But you know, if we don't have this, we can also use this the two console right here just to make up for that, you know. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know. I think You know what I mean? You can kind of get a very similar sound. So yeah, regardless, man, fun, fun, fun. Um so those two blue plugins are, are kind of analog beef beefing plugins, you can call them. Uh, after that what i like to do is a bit of subtractive eqing i like to use subtractive eqing before we start really mixing the vocals so as you can see i'm just pulling away on some of the frequencies that i don't like um you know this will obviously vary depending on your vocal everyone's performances are different everyone's mic positioning is slightly different so you know i'm just doing a bit of a dip around you know 300 400 um you know right there and then i'm just doing some cuts in the treble and that's really it you know definitely try this out uh, it does sound good when you get it right uh, so after that what i'm doing is you know and as i said earlier on i want to stick to the traditional form of how these punk rap songs are mixed so you know e-series ssl console you know do your research on why uh, somehow siri was just activated right there uh, <laughs> all right but yeah man you know we're doing some stuff right here man we're doing some real basic eq you know i'm doing a high pass filter right here at around 120 I'm doing a very slight treble boost at 8000 because that's the secret SSL kind of frequency. And then I'm doing a boost at 2K. I wouldn't really boost too much around in the high trebles, but you know, it works sometimes for, you know, punk rap style vocals. And then I'm doing a bit of a dip again around 300. And then I'm doing a low shelf uh, EQ on um, 200. So, you know, I'm essentially doing this at 200 hertz. So, you know, that's what's happening right there, something like that. Yeah, then I, I don't do any compression because uh, we will do some really heavy uh, compression afterwards. But if I was to bypass this, you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know. I think I should just let go. I mean, we could almost do without it, but to me, it just adds that extra flair to the vocal. Yeah, you're no good for me, I know. I think I should just let go. 89 doves flying off in the night. Say I'll be fine, but I think I'll be alright. Every time you talk, make time move slow. Every song about you on the radio. Whoa, yeah, the UAD is kicking in, man. That's the problem with the UAD stuff. But yeah. Um, if I was to disable it, you see, it kind of works better when the drums are in because, you know, of the reduced bass. Be alright, 
Every time you talk, make time move slow. You know what I mean? So when we, we, we reduce more of the bass, it allows the drums to kind of punch through. That's the art of mixing, right? We want the bass to have its own space. We want the vocal to have its own space, you know? So that's why I'm, I'm doing a bit more EQ. So next thing I do, man, is some UAD compression. Now this is the legacy version. So this is not by any means the best compressor that you could use. I'm simply using this. I'm sure even the, the leveling tool, which is another VST you can use, uh, would work. Um, but this just squashes the vocal really nice. You can use any sort of leveling amplifier plugin that you want. Uh, I definitely recommend using the modern series stuff as well, man. I think it's called the Something Angel. The Last Angel is a damn good plugin as well that you can try. But these are essentially the settings I'm using. Um, and you can see how much I'm squashing the vocal. This is where we get our volume and our kind of punch from. Be alright. Every time you talk, make time move slow. Every song about you on the radio. It's the summertime, but it's so cold. So if I was to turn that off. Be alright. Every time you talk, make time move slow. So as you can see right there, the vocal kind of jumps out at you, and this is where the compressor is really important is it just kind of tucks away everything to to give you this consistent overall sounding vocal so you know that's what we do with the compression um you know definitely just mess around with leveling style amplifiers once you get that right setting it just works you know what i mean and it just gives you that kind of vocal sound that you may have been looking for so afterwards man i do a little bit of de-essing because i did realize that the vocal was getting a bit spiffy so these are the settings i'm using right here yeah you're no good for me i know i think i should just let go 89 doves flying off in the night Say I'll be fine but I think I'll be alright Every time you talk make time move slow You know but I wanted to leave it pretty essy Because I don't want to kind of overdo it If we overdo it let's see what happens right. Every time you talk make time move slow you know, on some songs you can get away with over de but some songs it's just okay to have those S's just a bit uh, kind of uh, prominent. So yeah, after, you know, all of our kind of heavy analog style uh, mixing, we get into more of our FL Studio style mixing now. This is what I love about FL. I love adding a bit of the delay onto the vocal itself, tiny bit, man. I mean, I'm talking about like, uh, what are we using here? You know, 4% of delay right there. You obviously want to make sure that your, your project is synchronized to your beat. You want to do that beforehand. And then what I do is a bit of reverb right there, man. Just a little bit of reverb, as you can see, these are the settings. And I'll be giving away uh, this setting for free, I guess, this time around. But yeah, that's pretty much all we do on the main vocal, man. We are doing a bit of, um, you know, effects kind of coming in later on. So let's go and find where this radio effect actually happens. Let me just get rid of all these plugins real quick. And I'm pretty sure they pop in yeah, right uh, there. All right. So we've got a radio level popping in. And it's kind of just a radio effect, you know, so. Strange, if I leave now, I won't come back again. So yeah, that, that's just us having fun with all these different background vocals. So we'll get straight into the background vocals now since that is pretty much, um, you know, what we need to talk about next. We've got our doubler right here, man. So let's just single out one of the doubles and see what it sounds like. I like doing that. You know what I mean? It's just kind of to sit in the back of the main vocal. You get me? You know, and we can really have a field day with how we, we make everything sound. Time moves slow. Every song about you on the radio. It's the summertime, but it's so cold. Freeze my heart like dirty below. Yeah. So what I'm doing with the double is essentially I'm just adding a, a fat reverb on there. And then I'm just adding a radio EQ. No need for, for anything else, you know. If you can monitor singing into it. Uh, you're just going to get a really nice result, you know what I mean? So as you know, for those who are new to the template, you know, just control, left click, control, left click, and I'm, I'm moving, maneuvering around. Don't do this because you're going to be listening to everything at once, but control, left click, you know, so uh, that's how we do that. And yeah, just send it straight to the vocal chain itself, you know, and on the, I mean, on the, on the all vocals chain, and all we do is a little bit of, of a tiny bit of EQ here and there. Just really this, that's all we're really doing right there, man. It's just a bit of a boost. And then we just do a bit of L1 limit. Uh, and we do that to all the vocals, by the way. So yeah, on the background, I don't think we had any ad-libs, honestly. Um, but on these background vocals right here, you can see... Um, let's go. 
rockstar might pull up in a jag Say she like me, she got tats on her ass Think I'm Lil Tracy, I'm living too fast So you know, with the main vocal itself Low, young rockstar might pull up in a jag Pretty swaggy Low, young rockstar might pull up in a jag Say she like me, she got tats on her ass now the only reason I am using this SSL saturator, which is you could use a fruity blood overdrive, it doesn't matter. It's just because I just used it while I was mixing the track and then I went on to end up making this. So you could go either or. I just don't like changing things after the fact because I want to give you exactly what I was hearing on the day that I decided I'm done with the mix. So, you know, you could switch it out though, man. You know, I've pretty much tried to emulate this, this preset right here. Um, you know, by the way, if you cop this, you do get 10 presets as well, just to kind of mix and match. But Low, young rock star might pull up in a jag. Say she like me, she got tats on her ass. Think I'm little Tracy, I'm living too fast. I'm actually digging that more, to be honest, than this. This is a bit softer and kind of more grainy. Low, young rock star might pull up in a jag. You know, it's a bit I like this, it's a bit darker as well. Low, young rock star might pull up in a jag. I mean, why don't we just use both? Young rock star might pull up in a jag Say she like me, she got tats on her ass Regardless man, this uh, vocal enhancer is crazy You should go and check that out um, But yeah man, I just dip a bit of this and that uh, Just dip a bit of treble, you know, whatever But you know, we'll just stick to this one Because that's what we were using beforehand So what I do after saturation essentially Is just a bit of distortion on our two background vocals Right, we've got a left So here we go, you'll only hear it coming out of the left speaker Ooh, I like monetization, so let's not uh, <laughs> go to that line too many times. But yeah, essentially all we do is two background channels, right? Which we send to this BG vocals so that we can save CPU. So we, we have auto-tune on each one so that we're not singing two auto-tunes into one. Um, uh, or singing two vocals into one auto-tune because that won't ever really work. Uh, but we send both of those into this BG vocals channel. And then I just, you know, add the saturation and then add a bit of telephone effect on there. And that gives us our cool sound. So, yeah, let me just get rid of that. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much all we're doing on that. Um, I will actually talk about the beat this time. Um, but firstly, I want to talk about pretty much doing some parallel compression. So, as you can see, I send everything towards this mix bus, right? So, you know, if you're not listening to the mix bus, this is where everything's going through. But the reason I want everything going through one channel is so that we can do parallel compression. All right. So what I do is I send the full mix into this parallel smash. And what I'm doing is using this UAD Fairchild just to add a bit of volume to the mix itself. So um, let's find the drums again. I think I'll be all right. Every time you talk, make time move slow. Every song about you on the radio. It's the summertime, but it's so cold. Freeze my heart like dirty below. Young rock star might pull up in a jack. Say she like me, she got tats on her ass. Now you can use any sort of compressor you want. It doesn't matter. Every compressor is going to give you a slightly different tone. But as long as you're sticking to the theory of just smashing it a little bit, making sure the volume matches up, you're going to be getting the same result pretty much. I tried many different plugins. But because I bought this, I'm using it. All right. It just is what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can uh, talk about in this video. Um, I will do maybe another, you know, video on exactly the mixing of the beat. Let's do it anyway, might as well, this video is so long anyway. Um, but essentially all I'm doing is some SSL uh, EQing, right? I'm, I'm lowering the gain on the input of it. And then I'm just re-EQing the beat, right? And then, um, am I compressing it a little bit? Let's just focus on the beat for a few seconds right here. So if I turn off all of this, it's going to get louder, but it's not going to sound better, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Once we once we do our EQing and stuff, it's low and level so we can record onto it, but it's just sounding much more full, in my opinion. You know, it sounds like it went through an SSL console, man. I've sat in front of an SSL console, and uh, these plugins are getting pretty damn good at emulating, uh, you know, these types of channel strips. So, yeah, man. Again, I do some reductive EQ. I didn't like what the hi-hat was sounding like. It was a bit too spiffy. Um, that was definitely a mixing thing. After a while, it gets annoying. So I was lucky enough to get away with just being able to carve out that hi-hat. Uh, dip out some of this 500. I don't know what's going on in this 500. Let's see. 
that is definitely the kick drum that that honk of the kick drum get rid of that um, and luckily we don't lose too much of the instruments you know um, but yeah next thing i did was a bit of uh, vitamin and all i did was enhance the low end because i kind of sucked so much of the low end out of the the beat that i wanted to just bring in some artificial saturation onto it so you won't really hear too much of a difference actually you do there's a lot more punch yeah it just compresses it a little bit as well but most importantly what i'm doing is a bit of um uh, stereo widening as well with this vitamin plugin but yeah that's pretty much all I can actually show you that's literally everything we've done on this mix um, I did a bit of SSL again on the master channel right just a bit of a boost and I will emulate all of this if you decide to cop this uh, template uh, but yeah man hope you learned something this is definitely an informative video I hope you've watched it all the way to the end uh, you know if you enjoyed the video smash that like button as well as to subscribe feel free to ask questions below and you know cop this template man learn something you know what i mean i love it i'm gonna try now i'm gonna spend the day pretty much finding really good replicas of all these plugins and making sure that uh, when you open up the session you got the same kind of feel uh, if you have uad and waves perfect you know what i mean why not so with that being said man peace out